Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. In today's session, we are going to see about Inception V3 model. It's one of the transfer learning model. I have already uh, uploaded a video on transfer learning techniques. I will give the link of that video below the description box. Kindly go through that if you want to know what is a transfer learning model. Today we are going to see about the architecture of Inception V3 model and how it is different from the other models. Now Inception V3 is a deep learning model. It is built based on convolutional neural network and it's mainly used for image classification. There are three uh, versions in Inception V1, V2 and V3 and V3 is the superior version of the basic model. Inception model was initially introduced in the year 2014 by Google and it was initially called as Google Net. This model was built on ImageNet dataset. Hope you all know what is ImageNet dataset. And this data set has around 15 million labeled images and it has around 22,000 uh, categories. But this inception model was built on subset of this image in a data set which took only 1000 categories or 1000 classes and each class has around 1000 images. So totally it took uh, roughly around 1.2 million training images and it was uh, validated with 5000 images and uh, tested with 1 lakh images. Now, what is different in this transfer learning model? What is different is most of the models are deep neural network. It means the model is usually deep. It has many layers. Uh, for example, you take ResNet, VGG, AlexNet, the other models. The model is very deep. It has more convolution layers. But when the model is very deep, you will get a problem called as overfitting. Your model will become overfitting for your data. To reduce that problem or to overcome that disadvantage, in this inception model, instead of creating a deep model, a wide model was created by adding some parallel layers. So here if you see in the model, in the basic model, uh, you will see uh, a 1 cross 1, a 3 cross 3, a 5 cross 5 convolutional layers were added in parallel along with a 3 cross 3 max pooling layer. So we all know the convolution layer are added to extract the feature from the input data set. The extracted features are reduced in dimensionality by adding a pooling layer. Either you will add an average pooling or you will add a um, max pooling or any type of pooling. The pooling layer is actually used to reduce the dimensionality. So your basic model will look like this. So here you can see the layers are added in parallel instead of deep model so you will get a wide model instead of a deep model but still this model has some disadvantage or drawback the drawback is here you can see a 5 cross 5 convolution layer so this convolution layer is pretty expensive and it is very time consuming to train that uh, layer and it requires a lot of computational power because it's a 5 cross 5 convolution layer so further the 5 cross 5 convolution layer was reduced by adding a 1 cross 1 convolution layer. So here you can see the dimensionality of the network is reduced by adding a 1 cross 1 convolution layer just before every con every other convolution layer. So here you can see a 1 cross 1 convolution layer is added before every other convolution layer. So this is a modification was done in the inception V1 model. Still, the model was improved in V2 and final version of the model is called as V3 model. So, we are going to discuss today the V3 model. So, what makes the V3 model much better when compared to other models? Four optimization technique was done on version V3 model. The first one was factorization into smaller convolutions. So, convolution layer was added, smaller convolution layers were added. The second uh, optimization principle we used was spatial factorization into asymmetric convolution. The third one was auxiliary classifiers were used and finally the grid size was reduced. So these are the four optimization techniques that was used in version V3 which made the model much better when compared to other versions. What is this factorization convolution? So here if you see the 5 cross 5 was requiring a high computational power. So 5 cross 5 you can see is replaced with the smaller convolution layer like 3 cross 3. You can see 2 3 cross 3 layers are added instead of 5 cross 5 layer. Okay. And later 
the second optimization principle that was used is instead of 3 cross 3 it was replaced with 1 cross 3 and 3 cross 1 so you can see it is replaced with n cross 1 and 1 cross n so everything is replaced with n cross 1 and 1 cross n so finally your model became like this so instead of 3 cross 3 you can see it is replaced with 1 cross 3 and 3 cross 1 Okay, so this further reduce the dimensionality of the model, the number of parameters that is required to uh, train your model was reduced by reducing the dimensionality. So this is uh, how um, the factorization was done in the convolution layer. The second, uh, uh, sorry, the third optimization technique that was added is auxiliary classifier. Now, this auxiliary classifier is actually added to your network in the deep layer to reduce the concept of vanishing gradient problem. What is vanishing gradient problem? Usually, we multiply the input with the weight. So, in every layer, you will see the inputs are multiplied with the weight. And then, um, and then an activation function is applied. So, um, in every layer you can see the gradient slowly vanishes and in the deep layers you can see it's uh, really close to zero so the network will stop its training. So, to reduce this vanishing gradient problem at the end layer that is, that is in the deeper layer an auxiliary classifier is added. So, here you can see an auxiliary classifier uh, is added. So, when you add an auxiliary classifier so this will uh, overcome the vanishing gradient problem. So this was included in the um, Inception V3 model. And finally, the last uh, optimization technique is grid size reduction. So traditionally, uh, you will use max pooling layer or average pooling layer to reduce the grid size of the feature map. But in Inception V3 model, to reduce the grid size effectively, an activation dimension of the network filter is expanded. So here you can see uh, the filter concatenation is used. So here you can see uh, the grid size is 35 cross 35 and the number of filters are uh, three, uh, 320 filters. Okay. So now after concatenation, you can see the size is reduced to 17, that is D by 2. So 35, this is D, so it is reduced to D by 2, that is 17. So here you can see the uh, grid size is reduced, but the filter is multiplied. So here you can see 2K filters are used. So this is done by using two parallel blocks of convolution layers and pooling layers are concatenated. So here you can see uh, two parallel blocks of convolution layer is concatenated with one pooling layer. So when you do like this, you can see the dimensionality is reduced. So this is how you will reduce the grid size. So these are the uh, four uh, optimization technique that is used in uh, Inception V3 model. And this is a final Inception V3 model. So here you can see Inception modules. So you can see different Inception modules are concatenated parallelly. So instead of creating a deep uh, network you can see the network is wide here so this is a speciality about inception v3 model in the next session we will see how to use this inception v3 model on mri image data set so here you can see the uh, data set which is brain mri images we are going to do the classification there are only two classes here uh, the class is no and the other class is yes so you have a tumor or you don't have a tumor. So there is only two classes here. So it's a binary classification problem. So this is a data set. It is available in Kaggle. You can download this data set or you can directly um, download the data set in the uh, Google Colab. So here you can see um, with the help of uh, API key, you can directly download the data set in the Google Colab. So this is a code. So now when you run this code, it will ask you to... Uh, um, it will ask you to attach the uh, um, API key. You can get your API key from your login. So you have to create a login in uh, Kaggle, your, uh, your own account in the Kaggle. And then in your account page, uh, you have an option called as create new API token. Just click this, your API will be, your uh, 
a key will be uh, downloaded so just you have to attach the key here so once you attach the key you have to specify the location of the data set so this you may get it from here so here you have the api token so here you have the api command just copy this api command and uh, paste it here automatically your data set will be downloaded in the collab so the data set will be downloaded as a zip file so you can extract the zip file so once the zip file is extracted now you have uh, as i told you there are only two classes one is yes and other one is no now you're going to divide your data set into training and testing so here you can see your data set is divided into training and testing so once the data set is uh, divided now uh, this is your data set it looks like this now you need not create the model from the scratch because the model is already built and the model is built on the ImageNet data set. Just I'm going to uh, download that model along with the weights. The weights will be equal to the ImageNet data set. And then the few layers, I'm going to keep it as it is because the basic layers will learn only the basic features. The top layers only will learn the specific features. So I'm going to download the Inception V3 model. So here you can see this is your Inception V3 model the weights also i'm going to download but i'm going to remove the top layers because this inception uh, v3 model was designed on imagenet data set which has around thousand uh, classes but here in our data set we have only two classes that is s and no so i'm going to remove the top layers okay and i'm going to freeze the bottom layers i'm not going to train the model again from the scratch i'm going to keep it as it is so i will make the uh, training false so i'm not going to train the layer I'm going to train only the top layers the other layers I'm going to freeze it now you can see this is a model which is uh, downloaded once you download the model now on top of that model I'm going to add some new layers so here you can see I'm adding a global average pooling layer I'm adding a dense layer and uh, okay so I'm adding a dense layer this is the layers I'm going to add finally I'm going to add the uh, output layer the number of classes is uh, equal to 2 okay so this is my final model now after adding the uh, output layer so this is my final model so here you can see this is my uh, last layer which is number of neurons is only 2 because the number of classes only 2 and then I am compiling my model my compilation will be very fast because I am not going to train the model from the scratch I am just going to train only the last few layers which I added new. So you can see these are the new layers we added. Average uh, pulling layer, then we added some dense layers, okay? And the final output layer with the number of classes equal to two. And we will add a fully connected layer. Okay, so this is a summary of the model and then we're going to compile our model. I just I have uh, run for only five epochs. So here you can see you got an uh, average of around uh, 92 percentage this is training average and this is validation average is not bad it's around uh, 89 which is a very good percentage so uh, see so you can see how easily you are able to build a model without uh, creating model from the scratch by just using it by just using the transfer learning technique and as we saw um, the error rates of this model will be very low because uh, we saw the four basic optimization technique was added in the inception v3 model so if you want to do image classification if you use inception v3 model you will get better accuracy and you will have less error rates if you use inception v3 model hope you understood this section please stay tuned for more uh, transfer learning models in the coming session Thank you very much for listening.